this is my timer um, it has a knob to control the time and two buttons start stop and reset it's powered by 9 volt battery basically it comes on um, a fixed time after you press the button um, it's set to 150 now 1 minute 50 seconds what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on and start my stopwatch so um, basically what's happening here is this capacitor is being charged by the battery through this resistance variable resistance so um, the resistance um, how much you set it decides how fast the capacitor charge charges the negative terminal of the capacitor is just connected to ground so uh, the positive terminal the voltage at the positive terminal um, increases at a rate decided by this variable resistor from the positive terminal of the capacitor there's a little resistance well little in size but not little it's 220k this is 100k so this is more than double of this to make sure that the capacitor cannot uh, no matter what happens discharge faster than it charges it shouldn't discharge through the circuit anyway but that makes sure so what this resistance does is it communicates the voltage of this to this transistor here when the voltage at the base of this transistor reaches around 0 0.5 volts this starts conducting from its collector to its emitter the current from the emitter is amplified by this transistor here and uh, together this thing basically it's running in saturated mode um, and then once this starts conducting that comes on see 140 141 well I guess it's at a little less than uh, 150 but anyway so now um, so that turns on this relay when this starts conducting that amplifies it turns on this relay and that relay starts everything else so now I'm going to turn it on again and you see it goes off immediately that's because I hadn't pressed the reset button so there are two buttons here this one is just an on off switch in series with the battery it turns the whole thing on or off this is the reset button what it does basically is it discharges the capacitor so um, when you use the timer once and then you use it immediately afterward what happens is the capacitor hasn't discharged fully there is some uh, residual charge left in the capacitor so um, it takes less time the next time to reach 0 0.5 volts uh, so this relay here is uh, what the guy in the shop called a bipolar relay what that is basically is there are two switches powered by a single coil so uh, one of those switches one of the poles of this relay I have used uh, inside the circuit for the buzzer and the LED the other pole is connected here to these three metal things so that um, the coming on of the timer can be used outside this box to uh, turn something else on or off like um, a lamp or a stereo and uh, well since this uh, dial it's like one dial and all the way from zero to four minutes um, you it, you can't you, you can't um, set it that fine but it's pretty accurate um, it'll give you uh, the same it'll come on within the same second several times in a row as long as your um, supply voltage doesn't change so if your battery runs down then the time will um, gradually start going up uh, and uh, that's about it